Zion manufactures saviors. That's where they come from. They don't come from APC. They don't come from PDP. They come from Zion. <laughs> you want to ask the Lord and say to him, let us star. Is mama not looking gorgeous? I am not saying anything about it. Or are you jealous or something? Praise the Lord. Um, thank you for gracing this occasion with your presence. God bless you in Jesus' name. Where do I start in this testimony? I start from somewhere. I thank God for our father, husband. Um, he's 44 years today. And we thank God for all that the Lord has been doing in his life, is still doing, and is yet to do. I met um, Apostle Aramel Sai 2001. It's quite a while. As at the time, I never knew I was going to end up with him. I only met him in my fellowship. He used to come around to ABU for programs. And he's a very passionate lover of God. And that's what brought him to, to ABU. And um, well, on that sojourn in Zaria, I was the then secretary of a fellowship. And um, somewhere around 2004, or will I say 2003, I had been in a relationship before I even met him. And that relationship lasted about four years. After four years of that relationship, or four years into that relationship, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me. I actually thought I was going to marry the young man because he was my tribe. We were very, um, we were very good together, according to campus people. Yes. And very jovial person. We thought we were going to be, end up together. But after coming to know the Lord so strongly, and it, it was step by step. First of all, the Lord began to teach me how to let go of little, little, little things. Started with money, followed by clothes. Gradually, I got used to all that and it was so easy for me to let go of anything that the Lord asked me to do or to let go. And I thought that was fine. I was good. I was strong in the Lord. But after a while, I was taking a stroll one day and the Holy Spirit began to speak to me. And he said, Dina, I would like to get something from you. And I was like, oh Lord, is there anything that I will withhold from my father? It was like a joke. And suddenly, he said, let go of the man in your life for me. It was more of a shock because I thought this man was someone I was going to go all the way with. And here is the Lord speaking to me saying, let go. And I was like, how, how will I just let go of a relationship of four years? That's wasted investment. And I struggled with it for a long time. I didn't know that God had something ahead i struggled with it i struggled with it until i finally gave in to it the signs were too many people began to speak all over people have i don't know began to speak to me prophecies were coming all kinds of things and i just had to so i walked up to his hostel and i spoke to him i was in deep pain because I really, really kind of loved the man then. 
and I thought we were going to end up. But as time went on, I spoke to him, and that was how we parted ways. And it took me about one year to get healed of that relationship. After that relationship, God started speaking to me again. And he said, how are you sure? I don't know why it came like a question. How are you sure Aramel Sa is not your husband? That was how it came to me. And I was like, no, 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 no. It can't be my husband. I don't want to marry spirit. He looked so rugged, spiritual, so... And I was like, no, 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 I don't want... I just want a very cool brother who loves the Lord. But that was not to, to be it anyway. Thank God, at the end of the day, to cut the whole long... It's a whole long story. The signs, the dreams, everything became so clear. And I had to give in to it. And I thank God, this is 13 years down the line. He has been a father in my life. He has been a husband. He has been a friend. As at the time I met him, I never knew all the things I'm seeing today were inside of him. It was like he was carrying a, preg a pregnancy that nobody could see. The only thing I knew was that he had passion for God. That was all. I met him. He wasn't working where he was working at the time. So I didn't follow him for money. I didn't follow him for fame. I only followed him because he had passion for God. And because that was where the Holy Spirit was leading me to. And after so long, all the pregnancy began to be bettered. RCN Global came out. Bible School came out. TV Station came out. In fact, so much, and I know that there's still so much inside, but it has been the grace of God that has led us through as a family. And we thank God for everything he has done for us. I thank God for our children. Joshua is not here with us today. And I know he earnestly would have wanted to disappear and appear here right now. But I told him, don't worry. <laughs> A time will come, you will be here. So I thank every one of us. The Lord has really been good and gracious to us. He has kept us as a family. We have seen his grace, his glory, his mercy, you know, and his faithfulness over our lives. Um, God bless you, my man of God, my sweetheart, the lover, the romantic one. Even though he goes around the whole world, he still has time for us. God bless you, dear. You have anything to say? Okay, so my, my Thanksgiving today is that he has been very kind and sacrificial to all of us. He has saved many lives and won many souls. So I'm very thankful to God for that. She said she has a song for her dad. Thank you for being so kind. Thank you for being sacrificial. I want to tell you how I feel. I really love and adore you. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy, 
Happy birthday, happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday.